Good evening and welcome back. If you joined us last time you would have seen a 2-0 win against Ponferrodina. It's a fairly close game actually and today we're back at home against Huesca. And you'll also notice that Mudrik is injured unfortunately. Picked up a knock in the last match I believe it was. Can't tell where he picked up the knock because he, he came off after about 60 minutes. Hadn't been injured as far as I'm aware. And then we got a warning after the match that he had been injured but only out for about a week, so he might only miss the one, maybe two matches. But this is the lineup we're going in with. Gonna have to give Xerxy a rest, as you can see, Texeras on a downward red. Hetich, we're gonna give a rest as well. So we are gonna go with Arcas up top, he has played there before. I'm gonna put Harrington on the left, and apart from that, it's pretty much the usual lineup. And I have been given updates on my channel, on the community page, and also on Twitter if you follow me on there. Um, but I have been away from gaming for a couple of weeks. Luckily, I had planned ahead and recorded quite a lot of videos and edited them all and just had them all ready to go in YouTube. I, I like to have maybe at least a couple of weeks worth of videos just in case anything happens, you know, illness or just really busy, things like that. And, and a few things cropped up, just personal stuff, nothing major, just, you know, important things, um, just life stuff. And I just wasn't feeling it. Loving Pez 2021 and I'm loving Resident Evil 4, which I'm still recording at the moment. Um, but I just wasn't feeling sort of like gaming, to be honest. Um, but I've been getting the itch the past couple of days. And so, yeah, I'm back on it. Like I say, still got plenty of videos in the backlog. It's not like I'm rushing back or anything. Um, but yeah, just I've been really wanting to get back into it when I was in the mood. And I really am tonight. So... Might be a little bit rusty. Now remember we did up the difficulty a while back on this because um, I felt it was needed. And Mudrick being out is a is a big blow because he's been. I mean, since he's joined, he's just been absolutely electric. Let's see how Argus can do up top. Not a bad first couple of touches. And of course, got the youngster uh, McDowell, I think it is, at right back. After we had an offer for, was it Gyosa, or right back? Um, we just felt like we had to sell him. That was poor. But the transfer window is coming to an end soon. I think it's uh, about two or three days' time. This is the last match before that ends. There's not going to be any transfers from our point of view we've got no budget to do so no uh, salary budget rather so and I think ooh, ooh, could save we haven't had to call too much on the goalkeeper in in late compared to the beginning of the season but as always Schubert is he's always alert I still remember that first game after we signed him. Um, and he made an absolute world of a save. I've, I've never seen a save like that on on Pez. <laughs> it was absolutely amazing. Point blank. I think he made a, another one in that game as well. Not quite as good, but he was just unbelievable first game he had. But times have moved on. Nice play there. Not quite enough room. Yeah, uh, again, there's not really anywhere to play to. It's a bit cramped at the moment. Vieira. Oh. Too many bodies. The idea was there, the one, two, and then the shot. Nice play. McDowell back on it. Oh, lovely play to Perez. Vieira. Oh, what a shot that was. The power in that. Don't know if it was going on target. Oh, 
lovely couple of touches and it just hit the back of the defender he didn't know anything about it we will have Vieira as usual take these not the best of uh, corners that looked like a foul to me but uh, he didn't go over and nothing was given you don't actually need to go over in this gimmick you can I mean, I've given away penalties for less than that. Um, not concentrating there on the defence. Oh, good block. Just managed to get him in the line of uh, line of the shot there, oh, and a lovely pass out wide. Herrera. Now Arcas, oh, but it's behind Perez. Uh, tried the trick inside. Didn't come off. Perez, good save. It was low, it was heading towards the corner. You expect him to save it, but... Okay, we're leaving a few gaps there. Uh, in midfield. <sighs> Playing it dangerous there as well. And the new boy, Omaradjik, new defender. Doing well. Arcas with the 1 2. He hasn't quite got the pace or the strength, though. Wasn't the best of headers, but we'll get it back, sort of. Yeah, we do. And that's a foul. Well, I was trying to play it quickly, but it wouldn't let me. So, Vieira. Let's see. Uh, not quite enough power, is it? Oh, just hit the top of the head tiny bit more power and that would have just crept over that was well spotted and intercepted oh, got unlucky there but Cossonu so strong and quick he's going to be a, a beast of a defender he, well he already is really but uh, as he gets Hold it, it'd probably be even better. Oh, how didn't I find anyone? Oh. Not um, quite getting the rub of the green. And that'll be a goal kick in half time, I think. And as usual, we did have the better of the possession. Didn't really create any clear cut chances as such. A couple of half chances. But you wouldn't say anything that was a, a glaring miss or anything like that. A couple of good saves from their keeper. And that's about it, really. I mean, it is my first game back in a while. Plus, you know, a couple of... Well, one injury and a, a couple of rests. You know, I haven't got Xerxes, Mudrik. So, I'm not trying to make excuses. It's just, you know, just the way it is. Sometimes you're going to go through some games that aren't easy. You've got to battle through them. Had three players on me there. Nice pass from Vieira. Arcas. The first touch was... In hindsight, I could have run forward. I tried to, I was expecting the defender to try and tackle me, so I cut to the left. But I actually had a gap. If you look here, first touch had a massive gap, but I'd already selected uh, where I was going to run. I like the grass effects on, there, on the face there. I haven't... Uh, Noticed that before. I'm going to just tie these up there. That was poor from her. A heavy touch and just didn't... Didn't react. And that is uh, dangerous. Well spotted by Schubert though. 
Come on, get up quickly. Nicely into Herrera. Now Arcas. No. Pass was maybe slightly over here, but I just feel like he didn't uh, didn't have the legs to get there. Nicely won from Cosinu. Every time uh, Perez gets on the ball, he's got like three players on him. Again, we're leaving gaps down the, the sides here. Well played from Rice. And that's poor though. Poor pass. Jinxed it, I think. And we'll make some substitutions. So we're going to bring on Castledine for Herrera and Cher on the left in place of Hounton. And to be honest, we haven't really got many options off the bench. I don't really want to bring on players that have rested. Because we've got a game in a few days time. And that'll be ours. We really need to pick this up now. We've been a little bit... Don't know, lackadaisical a bit. Um, I'm not sure what it is. A bit rusty. Perez, Arcas, oh, what a save that was. That's that's definitely the best chance we've had. Really good effort. Pretty much did everything right. Nice touch from Vieira. McDowell. Vieira, oh, a little bit of a loose touch. With just a crowded area, really. Nicely played. Okay, not much space, though. Now Perez. Vieira. Arcas. Oh, wide. Oof. No, that was definitely the best chance, and I've missed it. Really well worked, tight areas. Perez and Vieira linking up well. Plays it in our cast. Thought about playing it back, but I went for the shot, which is probably the right decision. Just lacking accuracy. And um, we've got, what, just over 15 minutes left now. Got to be careful. Obviously, we're going for the winner, but we've looked a little bit loose in defence. And that's a foul. Not, well, I say loose in defence, it's more just leaving gaps. It's the midfield, really. Oh, nicely played to Caulfield. Ooh. Oh, that's not a goal kick, is it? That's so unlucky. <laughs> that was pretty unlucky. Need to be, well, I mean, we need to, you know, speed things up a bit, but we still need to keep our patience. And that's a, oh, I thought it was a poor pass. That's a foul. That was a foul. I thought the referee was playing on, but he, he wasn't there, just didn't call a foul. Um, sloppy pass from them. Now, can we capitalize on this? Arcas is in here. Arcas, and he's hit it wide again. He's been so reliable for us, and whenever we've asked him to play up front before, he's normally done well. He was being sort of pulled there. I don't know if that's affected his shot. But defenders, the two defenders, did just about enough to put him off. Nice play from Vieira there. Ah, it's just offside. He had 
just halted his run to come back. It wasn't quite enough. <sighs> nice uh, interception by Costa or tackle, whatever you want to call it, but um, just couldn't quite keep it in. That could prove costly. And that's going to be a corner, is it? And they play the short one. Weren't quite alert to that. Costing here with the block. Vieira. What's that? Free kick to us? Offside? Free kick all the way back here. I didn't... Uh... That's got to be a foul as well, surely. What is going on here? Castledean. Yeah. Oh, we've done it in injury time. The substitute. What a finish that was. I really thought this was heading to a nil-nil. Thought we'd lost the chance. Played it back in. Nice little first touch, but what a finish that was. That's what Arca should have done a couple of times. Be, I mean, the keeper won't be happy with that beating at the near post. Oh, hey, we've had a few late finishes in um, in this season. Not Maybe not for a while, but... Because we're a little bit more settled, and there it is, full-time. Unbelievable. And just looking at the stats, 60% possession, which is about normal for us. 140 passes to their 77, so nearly double. The one thing I would say is... I think Schubert maybe made one save and um, then he had one way punched out clear but apart from that they didn't cause us too much trouble but we did leave some gaps in that sort of deeper midfield area which is a little bit worrying especially in the second half we had chances from Arcas who if that finished nil nil would have been gutted because there were two pretty clear cut chances but Bajer the substitute coming up trumps in what the 94th 95th minute absolutely brilliant and just looking at the the ratings Bajer get man of the match I'm not sure that's exactly right but he got the winner uh, that's pretty much all he did when he came on but I suppose you wouldn't say anyone was outstanding in the match I thought Vieira was pretty good Perez was good in patches but he did lose the ball a few times they seemed to be doubling up on him in those areas and sometimes sometimes tripling up so he was a little bit limited but until the substitutes came on, I'd, I'd probably say Vieira was, was our best player. Just looking at the standings, we're now 63 points to Sporting de Gijon's 48. So what's that? 15 points clear. Without getting too far ahead, you would say we're going to have to do a bloody good job to give away the top spot. We'd have to go on a proper run of bad games. And obviously our goal difference is just massive as well. And it is the final day of the transfer window in January, so I'm going to skip ahead. I'm not going to show anything unless we get any bids in or sign any players ourselves, which I think is very much doubtful. And just to confirm, there were no transfers in that window. I just thought I'd have a look, because it is obviously now the end of January. Have a look through the stats of, of last month. And as you can see, very impressive. Seven matches, seven wins, no goals conceded, which is massive. And look at that, Mudrik, who we signed just in January, player of the of the month. And you can see his average ratings down at the bottom. Not surprised with the goals and the assists he got. He's uh, got a 7.6 average rating for January. And then he picked up that injury. Good news is that I did get a notification to say he's back now. So we'll see how fit he is in the next match. But yeah, just some really good results there and some impressive performances. But that's it for today, guys. The next match is away to Andorra. We've then got a home match against uh, Racing Santander and then the really big match against Real Madrid at home, the Copa del Rey. That is going to be a massive match. I just want to put in a good performance. A win would be unbelievable. That would be a dream. 
Mudrick's going to be back, so it'll be really good. But as always, thank you very much for joining again. If you can hit that like, it would be much appreciated. Drop a comment down below and subscribe if you want to keep up to date with the channels. But other than that, I'll uh, see you for the next video. Cheers.